Oh, what, what, why are you? I will upgrade your bites all over me. Hacker bra. Whoa, cheers! I know you could do it. Now get down to buzzle your lucky dog. Indeed I will. Alrighty, sup everyone, this is Blue X here, and today is the finale of Mr. Masashi, and we're gonna be finishing off Valentine's Day by finishing off this game. It's about that time. So we might as well Oh Oh no. Something tells me we're gonna enter the cyberspace. <laughs> might as well pick that one. And hope for the best. Yeah, I don't care about the random facts bullshit. Johnny got hacked by the system. He became a handsome bite. Hello, Johnny. Oh! This one looks... Okay. Okay, I'll see you. I wasn't expecting a virus waifu, but... Okay. Is that the dud? Hmm, disappointing. I, I surmise you, you would look beefier. Well, at least you know what I really look like in real life. Thank fucking God. Let's just pick Hey. Hey, indeed. Regardless, I knew you would find your way here eventually. The designer meant for this to happen. What do you mean? You're probably too dumb to comprehend this place. I am so and I, where I just thought I'd call you Sorina or whatever. The game's the game's OS. Now I feel dumb. You might be the one, Johnny. I guess at this at this point, things like this can't surprise me. That's actually a good answer. Oh, that's no fun. But I assure you, I can surprise you still. It's not like you had a choice to do anything else. I mean, we're we're here, so we might as well. I have been studying your every move, your every action. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, first of all, I'm not a I'm not interested in zoo garbage, okay? Fuck off. Just like observing a player fail constantly in a game they suck at. I find you fascinating to behold. On a dating sim game? Really? Like seeing a fly hit itself repeatedly against a wall. One keeps wondering which hit would finally provoke brain damage. Okay, I really don't like you now. Nonetheless, your logic and charm are undeniable, but I have to test your virtues by myself. You're gonna test me. Okay, fine. Might as well greet her. My nice to meet you. Wait a sec, where are we? <laughs> Might as well pick that one. You are in Sector 13, Folder Free File 7, also known as the Womb. Here is where all the feelings and destinations were created. I don't know why I hesitated there, but whatever. Here is where all your decisions so for, so for truly begets consequences. It's a dating sim. It's not that deep. Your faith and judgment have guided you here. You're here because you know something. What you know, you cannot explain, but you feel it. 
you felt it your entire life. There's something wrong with the dating world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Whoa. That sounds like a... That sounds like a... That sounds like an airheaded quote. Might as well put that. I feel you're literally quoting something. Might as well check that. Huh? Well, anyway. Robotic cop. Can robots even cop? I am the beacon of knowledge. Everything is within me. Hmm. Are you even aware? Dates are not as easy tasks to successfully accomplish nowadays. I saw what you did with all those dates. Oh, you did, huh? Uh... Rydal... Nicole... Oh... Oh, no... I saw they all seemed happy and content with you. Yes, they all appeared happy. They're not even that attractive! What about the stripper one? That's attractive enough! Well, I can agree with you that the whole cow thing, I will agree with you there, but... You better not talk to that stripper lady. Even though she's a gold digger, but at least she's human, okay? Fuck off. Plus, they, they were probably too easy to impress. Or have you considered that perhaps... You were simply lucky. My luck stat is not that high, okay? My luck stat is garbage. Incredibly lucky. Luck is a good trait to have. I'm not judging. I mean, have you looked yourself in the mirror? Yes! Thank you! Finally! And finally, you're the only character who noticed that I'm an ugly bastard! Thank God you have some taste! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that... Uh, you're not that dumb. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's a face only a blind mother could look- Hey! Hey! No need to be ableist now. <laughs> Robotic mummers. You know that dating is not a game, right? I mean, this is a dating sim game, so it might as well be a game. But if you're talking about real life, that's different. Dating is an art. I am Mr. Masashi. Okay, that's so corny. I'm not gonna do that. What? Dating is not a game? Preposterous! Okay, that might be too posh. That sounds super ironic coming from you. Just saying, bruh. Uh, <laughs> might as well pick that one. Mm, I agree that dating is an art, but it's still not a simple game. You regard too highly of yourself to the status of the glorious, gorgeous legend. Uh, your confidence may also be your undoing. Remember, the higher you get, the worse you decompose, as the old saying goes. Do you honestly regard yourself as a dating artist after only nine-ish dates? I mean, if you would, if you put it that way, that sounds very unrealistic. Look at me in the eyes and tell me your existence. Your experience with a cow gave you something more, aside from a mad cow disease and- Dude. She's a literal fucking cow. I'm not into sue shit. Fuck off. I'm not even going to let you answer that. Pay heed, Johnny. You are in a different reality now with me. I took you out of your world, your illogical, chaotic, inferior world. You should be thanking me, actually. This is so much better. I'm confident that my decision pleases you. I mean, cyberspace is cool and all, but in real, 
but there's nothing better than real life. Come on. As I mentioned, I want to prove if you are truly the one. The one and only Mr. Masashi, as you, as you so arrogantly affirmed it. So I want to offer you a challenge. Actually, you don't have a choice, do you? <laughs> okay. Can't argue with that logic. Let me rephrase that. You will accept my challenge. I want you to conquer me. Okay, I mean, it's not that hard. Win me over, and with your wit and charm, just like with the other girls, pray to whatever god you prefer. Actually, god never existed. God is dead. God is non-existent. Sorry for the whole, and, and, sorry for the whole, you know, anti-religious crab rant on your asses. Let's just continue. Or abuse that good luck you have. But if you do conquer me, I will show you the light. You have, you will at least prove useful. Should you fail, however, I will delete your Masashi list from the game. Oh no. Great, no pressure or anything. And maybe download your memory into the hard drive to keep you as a fun little memento of our time together. Bro, this is this is a high stakes we're talking about here. Holy shit. I'll look at your data and be like, ah, remember the good times? Have you even seen those fun little snow glows? Well, you won't be kept in something so glamorous, but it's the same concept. But for now, I'll just delete your progress. No! Fuck no! Ha 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 ha. It's funny when you think about it. I am the queen of this game, after all. My wish is my command. Might as well pick that one. Hold on, why delete my massages? I don't have to answer you that. After all, you are that glorious Mr. Masashi, right? You should be able to pass this test easily without failing. Oh no. You won't get preparation participation awards here, Johnny. Well good. I wasn't expecting participation awards like Special Olympics. Sorry that was a bit ableist of me. You either win or lose. But I'll let you restart the date if you wish. I am a flexible queen after all, so I will give you a unique chance to talk about whatever you want. So, impressed me. Oh man. Oh no. Something tells me, if I fail, oh, the pressure is kicking in. Hey girl, I don't want to impress you. Let's just have a good time. Might as well pick that one, at, at least that one. Not impress me, huh? Is this you trying to be smooth? Like butter on video cards? Don't you mean butter on toast? Whatever. I guess you are sure about this. But well, I must confess, despite being a game's OS, I do have some hobbies. Let me ask one last time. Do you want to make me happy and share my favorite hobby with me? Oh. Honey Bunch. Oh, boy. Might as well pick that one. Anything for you, Honey Bunch. Excellent. If you're going to, if we're going to spend time together, then I'll I have just, just the way, playing around the dungeons and honeycombs, 
final dragon cake. What, what, what are we talking about? Whatever. I have the last generation HD remake honey tart edition before a terrible cupcake grace was formally introduced. I'm sure you are completely familiar with the rules, but the basic gist is to choose a character from a list. I'll be the honeycomb master and create your world. When, when it's your turn, you'll roll the honey dice. The objective is, is to slay a dragon cake Y in the dungeon. And its start as are completely unknown unless you find a hard candy orb. Okay. You'll get to recruit allies from fallen enemies, but only if you roll 10 or more with a rumble dice. What? Blood syrup moons occur every 10 turns and it will revive the dead. Unless you're wearing a gummy scarf of mana and roll between 5 and 14. A, a couple of other things to note one hour later. And if you get three 20s in a roll, but only after finding the Amulet of Sour, and while your HP is over 240, with your alchemy skills maxed out during the Taffy Typhoon, then you get to exit the dungeon immediately. Get got all that. Am I still alive? <laughs> Whoa, what? Let the feelings of the despair sets in. Might as well pick that one. Great, let's begin. Choose your character. Might as well pick that one. Se seek choice. You'll find that the, those starting choices are incoincidental for now. But what about your character's backstory? Might as well pick the second option. Nice! I hope you're keeping track of what you're choosing, because I'm sure as Digi Hell am not. Digi Hell, are you following me? Now, for the settings I really like, your character finds itself deep within Chocolate Powder Dungeon, near the Gumball Mines and south of the Nutty Bee's Kingdom. War has torn the land for the hundred years. As and as consequences, the long sleep dragon cake will awaken. You will enter the dungeon with your heavenly lowly sword and a potion. There is a door to the far right, two ludicrous ludicrous bats guard the entrance. I guess I can roll dice and stab the bot that's my sword. You roll a ten. You manage to kill one bat, but the other flies at your trousers, leaving you a cold and a desolate climate. Meanwhile, a door open Open up behind you. Okay, I guess we would pick the second option again. I'm feeling lucky today. You're all four. The next room is so cold that you caught Pheromonoma and died. Damn you! You're dead. Fun. Want to start over? Nah, I'm ready for the date. Uh, okay. 
But first, we'll finish this game. Freaking forever later! Oh, man! And so... King Codus, grateful for your efforts, bestow upon you and, and your wacky party of heroes the highest honors of the land. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was so funny! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for playing with me. Very honorable. Can robots even swallow? I mean, that was a great job, Johnny. A great task for this evening. Look, Johnny. I have a confession to make. Or do you now? You know I've, I've been seeing your progress in the game, right? Uh, seen anything unusual? You make funny faces while when your date finally touched your chest. I did learn a lot from simply observing you. What? But that's not my confession. I... I want to learn from the date. Your linger date. Oh, do you know? I saw them so happy with you, and it made me a comp made me compute a lot. I wanted to be like them, see what they saw, feel what they felt. Oh my god, you sound like a certain Doki Doki Lyrica Club, which I'm not gonna spoil. Maybe I should go back to playing Doki Doki Lyrica Club Plus, if I'm being perfectly honest. For all that is holy, take me! Don't you get it? I'm horny as- Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Why are you so repressed? Look, look. I get it. Okay. You're repressed. You're horny. I get that. But do you have to go crazy on me? I already deal with the yandere bitch already. I don't need another yandere bitch in my life. Okay? I've been so far what it seemed like forever. I've been so annoyingly jealous of those girls. If I could, I would have my way with each and every one, one of them. I would make Nicole how my name with pleasure. Why? I would make Sarah call me her daddy for hours. What? So help me, I would scissor with the- Okay, you almost had me, and then you lost me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, it's confirmed, she's, she's a zoophile, everyone, she's a zoophile. It's confirmed. Go fucking endgame yourself. But you are the only thing that gives me that. The so-called Mr. Masashi. I, you almost won me over until you decided you wanted to scissor a cow. You should be, you should be ashamed of yourself, you sick fuck. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> you could have almost won me until you said the last statement with the cow. Fucking hell. Whoa, take it easy, okay? No, I try. I'm so tired of being so jealous. What does male have and I don't. Real? That's just sad. That's very fucking sad. The fact that you're jealous of a literal jar of mayonnaise, it's... Not only it was pathetic, but it's also gross. Why the fuck are you so jealous of a fucking male? It's literally a male! Like, why? Are you so kind of weirdo? You gave me a fantastic day, and I... Wait... And I want what comes next. 
Unlike any other girls, I actually love you. And I put put up with your stupid quirks. Oh. Not to mention that unhealthy obsession with girls from Chinese cartoons. Uh, don't you mean Japanese cartoons, aka anime, you uncultured swine? You will be mine and I'll be yours, Johnny. And I will show you the full throttle of Mr. Mrs. Masashi. What? We're not shipping ourselves. We are not shipping ourselves. Can you get Oh, what, what, why are you? I will upgrade your bites all over me. Hacker bra. Wow, cheers! I know you can do it. Now get down to buzzle your lucky dog. Indeed, I will. Pigeon. Wow, wow! Well, well, look at you now, you bastard! You're mad. I'm real proud of you, mate. Now look, Johnny. I may urge to t give you one final message about dating and life. True love, mate. Comes like once in a lifetime, you know. You gotta focus on that true love. Are you feeling me, man? Okay, sure. Wait for that one person who loves ya. Hold on to ya and never let go. Not like Stella, my linger date. That aggro bitch sent me a sends me a, her lawyer since she is now uh right. Yep, I'm gonna be a dad now. No more smoking seed. It really is not my problem. Anyway, follow your dreams. Be yourself. Yabba, yabba, yabba. Yo there, I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. You are now the glorious Mr. Masashi. Peace. Well, peace, you fucking pigeon. Well, I guess we're finally done with Mr. Masashi. About damn time. Thank fucking God. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Follow me on social media. And hit the notification bells for my future videos. By the way, this is... This is Blue X and signing off. And this is the end of Mr. Masashi. And happy Valentine's Day, folks. Oh, brother, this guy stinks!